Over the last couple of weeks, we've seen in France the escalation of riots and violence on the streets. But with that, tied to that, we've also seen the government response, the response of law enforcement, and many of the fears that these type of incidents uh, make it easier for governments and law enforcement to pass particular types of laws and changes to legislation and bills which would allow more intrusion, more censorship, and in, in many ways, just to put it more simply, more control over the lives of everyday people. Now, we're seeing one such thing unfolding in France over the last couple of days, and that is these new police powers which have been uh, granted these new spying powers by uh, their parliament, by the Senate, uh, with the passing of this justice bill. Now, this was not in direct response to what's happening as far as I'm aware, uh, and my French is really bad, which is it's non-existent, uh, but just having a read-through of the very little news that's been done, ar done around this topic, uh, this is part of a much larger reform of laws in France uh, to do in with these areas and the modernization of French laws for these areas. That is my reading of this. But just to get a better idea, um, there are three articles that I have looked through, uh, one from Engadget, one from this uh, French uh, publication Le Monde, and uh, one from Cyber News. And the one that actually gives a really good technical explanation of what's happening with these new laws is the Cyber News one. So I'm just going to read that for you guys so you have an understanding of what these new spy powers that the police and authorities have gained in France actually mean. And if this is actually a breakdown of how this passed, I think, uh, you know, in the Senate, at least in France, uh, you see the breakdown here, I think, of the people that voted for this. Uh, so 80 people said yes, 24 said no, one abstained. Uh, that is my basic reading of how this particular bill passed. Now, if I'm wrong and you can read French, you can let me know if I'm uh, incorrect here, but that is what I think is happening. So let's have a look at these new laws. In France, the Senate just approved controversial provision to a justice bill that would allow law enforcement to secretly activate cameras and microphones on a suspect's device, right? This is not just obtaining uh, data from your phone company later on. These new laws allow these French company, uh, French authorities to access the actual device live uh, whether it's for geolocation data or whether it's just to turn the device on or whatever it is they want to do, the microphones record your voice. They technically have access to do this now. This type of surveillance would be activated without notifying the owner of the device. The same provision would also allow agencies easier access to geolocation data to track suspected criminals. Even though officials say they would only use new updates, the so-called keeper of the SEALs justice bill to capture sound and images of suspects of certain crimes such as delinquency, organized crime and terrorism, the critics say that this would still be disproportionate. Isn't it a thing with all these type of laws, whenever they're passed, uh, particularly in countries in the West, it's always about fighting terrorism and these extremities. Uh, but what we've seen, right, very recently, of course, is that these type of uh, laws that are helped to de designed to keep the population safe from things like terrorism are usually by governments turned towards domestic populations uh, for all, to all sorts of reasons that they were never designed for. And that's why we have to be careful, particularly that these kind of laws are being passed in a country like France, uh, sets a bit of a precedent for what we might see that you're down the track in other Western countries like Australia, Canada, and the US. Let's keep reading. And it's not only politicians. Widespread concern has engulfed civil rights advocates and organizations too. For instance, the Observatory for Digital Freedoms has denounced such a security overkill. It says any subject would risk being turned into a potential snitch. Le Cadre du Net, another French advocacy group promoting digital rights and freedoms, has also expressed concern about the threat to privacy. According to the organization, investigators could, in theory, be allowed to remotely activate all connected devices, such as a television or baby monitors. I think that's one thing we've got to realize. In our world today, almost everything has a Wi-Fi chip or a, a SIMS chip. It's somehow connected to the Internet of Things, right? Like all these devices are, are doorbells. Uh, these, like in this case, they're mentioning baby monitors, televisions. Almost everything now is a smart device. And to think now that this particular French law has made it possible for police to activate any of those devices remotely uh, for whatever purpose that they deem fit in, in, in terms of pursuing justice uh, is uh, very, very different to what we've known for police to be doing in the past, which is through 
you know, like a wiretap or something, uh, getting access to uh, phones of someone that they're monitoring. This is very different when you start uh, tapping into someone's ring doorbell <laughs> to see if they're home or not, whatever the police want to do. Uh, if this text were definitely adopted, it would dangerously increase the possibilities of police intrusion by transforming all our IT tools into potential spies, the group warned in a press release. Lawyers are unhappy. The Paris spy representing almost 30,000 lawyers said in a statement that he deplored the fact that the initiators of the provision, the government, didn't consult them. The new possibility of remotely activating any electronic device constitutes a particularly serious breach of respect of privacy, which cannot be justified by the protection of the public order, said the Paris bar. In addition, the project does not prohibit listening to conversations between the lawyer and her client in the lawyer's office, even if it is prohibited. This is an inadmissible breach of professional secrecy and the rights of the defense. So this is the Paris Bar Association saying that this even threatens uh, client confidentiality between lawyer and their client, that they could potentially, the police could potentially uh, turn on a listening device on the on the user, their phone, and listen in on a conversation between the alleged suspect and their lawyer. This is a new ball game, guys. This is a totally new ball game. And what's happening in France, uh, you know, we have to be very mindful of these type of laws being introduced into our countries as well, because they're always looking to update things and bring things into line. Uh, we're seeing that now in Australia with this new misinformation, disinformation bill. This is all based around that type of intrusion into the everyday lives of people. I'll just read the end of this article. Uh, critics are argu urging French parliamentarians to dismiss the controversial provisions and it's not too late. The update to the bill must still be approved in the National Assembly the more powerful lower house of the parliament. Eric Dupont Moretti, the justice minister, argues that all necessary safeguards are in place. <laughs> For example, every surveillance operation would be approved by a judge. Uh, since 2015, when terrorist attacks rocked France, the country has increased its surveillance powers, and the keeper of the seal bill has been li likened to the infamous US Patriot Act. Activated amongst camera and microphones on such devices, might not be allowed for now, but the French law allows the government to monitor phone calls and emails of terrorism suspects without obtaining a warrant. Paris is now planning to go one step further. That's right. So you can see that the similarities drawn between uh, between the US Patriot Act and this one is called Keeper of the Seal. How wonderful do these uh, laws that they pass sound, the Patriot Act, the Keeper of the Seal. And look, I am all for law enforcement uh, doing what is necessary to stop acts of terrorism and all that type of nefarious activity that can harm the public. But without proper safeguards, without proper accountability, and without the proper protections for the public from the government using it on just you and me, uh, it's very problematic. And uh, you know, we only need to go down the uh, path of what happened in with the Trump campaign in 2016, with the FISA courts, uh, with the way that they're monitoring the Trump Towers, all of this shady stuff, how it can be abused and used for nefarious purposes by those in power. Now, there is currently no balance that we're seeing happening when these type of laws are introduced. And the adverse impacts are always felt by us, the people. Now, this is today in happening in France, but it's not too long, uh, long to go before these type of laws and these type of provisions are discussed in the parliaments of Australia, uh, of New Zealand, of uh, you know Canada and the US. So even though we already have similar things happening, the public intrusion is going to get worse and worse. Anyway, guys, if you're enjoying my videos, you can follow along on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Rumble, Odyssey, and of course, Zuckerberg's censorship hellhole of threads. I am there through my Instagram uh, connection. So you can find me on all those apps at The Real Rukshan, or you can search for my name, Rukshan Fernando. Thanks so much, everyone, and see you all next time.